okay so now we will go to the next topic is nothing but how can i do the unit testing right so yes so here we will take source and targets are different databases or on prem to cloud you are sending okay so this is cloud so left hand side we have the on prem so this cloud i am going to take gcp so google cloud platform so how can i do the testing so do this write it so how can i do the testing okay so here i'm going to bring iacs or edmc so how can i do it here as i told first we will do one thing so that is the target one one database we will load it as it is but here we will create one more database like qs stage so here we will create one more mapping to load the data without any transformation logic we will create we will write it here without any transformation so then how can we write so we will write minus query between these two so we will do it now so for that i have taken already this gcp i have opened it see here i explain right gcp if you see free trial status you will get it 78 days remaining activate your full account to get the unlimited access to this one so this is what i informed you so don't activate this one so do not activate so we have to dismiss it so don't activate it just dismiss okay so then go to this bigquery just we will go to the bigquery here we will check what is the bigquery tables so here i will go to this uh, this one okay here we have the core db so core db is nothing but we have transformed data t underscore pg underscore employees yes so i will take this one as the target okay for example i will create one mapping one mapping m underscore unit testing okay so i will take unit testing so this is the one logic for all other complex logic also yes we will do similar way so so i will take employees table so target i will take the bigquery table okay so in between i will use expression so here i will take expression expression transformation just i will open it so i will write some field here okay o underscore field something like okay so i will go for incremented salary okay decimal 10 comma 2 then expression we'll write if logic so iaf okay if so i'll go for yesterday's one so this is the logic okay if the salary is less than or equal to 10000 then 20 percentage increment okay validate it should be valid click okay so don't forget to connect here the column so if you forget to connect here so then you will not get that the requested column okay so whatever you have so don't forget this field mapping salary report i will remove it so i'll take incremented salary here so save here so just i have used for oh, target is uh, okay yeah target is gcp 
sorry so even we are using multiple times right that's the reason i have used thanks for notifying yes exactly we have to take big quick table since it is a cloud it is taking time so this is the transformed data so we are loading transformed data here so click okay here okay so insert operations if you want to do truncate and load yes you can enable so here you will have truncate and load right go to field mapping you can do the mapping here just to remove this one so take this field so this is just we are loading the incremented data so i'm going to run it if you want you can create one more data set here so instead of core db we can create one more data set create data set here so data set id is qa underscore stage so on single regions so region we have to select this particular region only so create data set so this way we have to create a data set so there we have to load it so where is that gcp table i need i have to create a table or i'll go here so this is the table we have so you can take any table just i'm creating one table here staging table okay so here the project is this is the project right dot qa stage so dot this table so we have to use this way i'm just using this table here okay just we have to load one to one run it table has been created so now we have to use select star from this table there is no data we have to put this one this symbol otherwise so we cannot select it okay so just to create it so this is the create table statement so i already explained in gcp so please go through that gcp session so you will get to know so we have already seen that so what is the change in the create table statement okay so now we will go to the we already loaded the table data right so we already loaded the data here we will check that table also select star from so put so this is the one dot core db dot this is the table right so i will query this table so if you look at this one so if you see here so i have this employee id first name last name em so email all this so i have here some increment okay salary increment happened so that we have to check it now 
so whether it has loaded correctly or not right so how can i do so i have to create one staging here just we have to do one staging just we'll go to this one we will create one more mapping so one to one mapping we already loaded this flow this flow we already loaded we have transformed the data for example 60k or 55k so here we have to load the actual data then we have to do minus so first we will do one thing so m underscore qa stage just i am writing this way sources oracle table i am not going to do any transformation logic so even if you are going to do any uh, n number of transformation logic similar concept you have to do so all this we have to write it in the sql statement to do the unit testing sql query you have to write it so we have to create a separate connection for this let me check whether we have in this connection itself we are getting if not we have to create a separate connection it should display the qa stage also yeah displaying so now we will take this particular table we will load it here is a truncate table i missed it yeah okay go to field mapping just uh, we are doing one to one mapping we are not changing anything just save and then run it it will run meanwhile i'll check here there is no data right but we have the data here already so for this this is the target this is the source so whatever we have in this oracle so that we loaded into gcp one to one load so we have to check it here okay still it is running Okay, succeeded. We can check here. Yes, we have the data, but if you see here, fifty thousand. So there it is, fifty-five thousand. Okay, so what is the logic we have written? So based on that, we have to write the minus queries, right? So we'll go here. So we'll take this one. So in GCP, we have minus is called except distinct. Okay, so minus is called except distinct. so we will take this way so i'll take this query so i'm taking similar way whatever we have seen yesterday select employee id salary from the target table so target is this is the target okay see here i'm just uh, selecting it it will select employee id and incremented salary yes similarly i have to take this is the minus one select employee id so case when salary is less than or equal to 10000 then 20 percentage but here less than or equal to 10000 20 percentage else 10000 okay that's correct but this is a table right yes so now i am going to execute if it is returning null then everything we have loaded correctly see here there is no data to display
So this alone, yes, we have. But if I'm changing, instead of less than or equal to, I put less than alone. We will check whether we are getting data. Yes. See, this is 12,000. So it means 10,000. So that we are getting. And then 20 percentage increment to 2,000. So that's the reason it is exactly 10,000 record that is we are getting. Okay. So this way we have to do the unit testing. So you can ask me the question. Okay. You have done with only single expression transformation. You have written some case statement. Okay. If I have something like a CD types, how can I write? Yes. In order to test it, you have to write a complex SQL query. Okay. So that is what you have to learn. Okay, so that is SQL even for SCD type also, we have to write SQL statement. Okay, so at least we should have some other method to test it. So anyhow, we have to test in this way only. So because test case is we have to put it for for all the results. So if you go to any banking domain, yes, definitely banking or any other domain. So mostly like a banking domain will have more more uh, we have to do security and more. We have to do testing also. 